the Middle East, the cradle of civilizations and monotheistic religions, and without regard to any basic values of uh, humanity. His Excellency, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lebanon, reminded and spoke of the plight of uh, Christian uh, uh, minorities uh, uh, there, uh, and uh, His Excellency, uh, the Foreign Minister of uh, Russia, spoke on uh, uh, the different tools, the Security uh, Council resolutions at our disposal to, to fight this uh, phenomena, uh, tools that are available uh, to help cut off sources of funding uh, for Daesh. And uh, Jordan believes uh, in this regard that the international community must pool its efforts to fight against ter terrorism in all its manifestations and, uh, and force, uh, forms and will be uh, able to basically and will do its best uh, in this regard. Jordan attaches great importance to uh, this issue you have been talking about, driven by its desire and goodwill to offer concrete contribution to the solution of problems of so many Christians, uh, Christian communities in the Middle East. Uh, last year, Jordan, uh, 2013, actually, Jordan organized a conference, a historic conference on the challenges facing Arab Christians for leaders from churches and Christian communities throughout the Middle East in Amman, where the participants focused on the problems and challenges that affected their lives in the Middle East. Jordan believes that Arab Christians are an integral part of the region's past, present, and future. As His uh, uh, Majesty King Abdullah II said during this meeting, and I quote, we support every effort to preserve the, historic, the historical Arab Christian identity and safeguard the right to worship freely based on the rule in both the Christian and Islamic faiths that underlines the love of God and the love of neighbor, end of quote. Our region is undergoing difficult times that challenges, uh, these challenges and difficulties that we face as Muslims and Christians should make us more determined to intensify our efforts and cooperate more to overcome these challenges. The 2013 Amman Conference a urged for peaceful coexistence and rejection of violence, extremism, terrorism, and war. Uh, there is much to be done, basically, and we have many initiatives, including Jordanian initiatives. I will not go into them. Uh, we, we strongly believe that the only way we can protect the new generations is by focusing more on education, because education and teaching our children the right values will go a long way if we want to end up uh, to, 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 to nip this ideology at the bud if we can use such an expression. Um, this is the responsibility of uh, all the international communities, educational institutions, including mosques and churches. I'd like to uh, conclude by saying that uh, we are proud that Jordan constitutes a unique model of coexistence and fraternity between Muslims and Christians. We believe also that the protection of rights of Christians is a duty rather than favor. Uh, Arab Christians have played a key role in building Arab societies and defending the just causes of our nation and should not be driven out and should have a role to play in the rebuilding of uh, whatever had been destroyed over the past uh, a few years. Thank you again for everybody, for the panelists here.